Hey everybody, welcome to a, uh, a cold, snowy uh, day here, win winter day, despite it being spring here in Iowa. We got about six inches of new snow on the ground, it's a cold, windy day, kind of disgusting outside, so perfect day for a Russian Imperial Stout, so I'm going to do one, uh, another one uh, sent to me by my friend Robert. Um, from a company I've never had before, the Great Divide Brewing Company. So I got a new cat for my uh, collection. Gonna do their Yeti, Russian Imperial Stout. Um, heard great things about this. I know there are lots of variations on it, but uh, never had any of them either. We don't get Great Divide here in Iowa. Um, well, there's hope so. I see the uh, Iowa listed uh, as one of them with a on the list of uh, bottle deposits so anyway a little bit from the website it says Yeti Imperial Stout is an onslaught of the senses it starts with big roasty malt flavor that gives way to rich caramel and toffee notes Yeti get its, gets its bold hop character from an enormous quantity of American hops it weighs in at a hefty 75 IBUs uh, comes in at 9.5% um, ABV um, I'm going to use my new, brand new, uh, 88 cent glass from, uh, looks like a interesting glass for, uh, drinking beer. Got this at, uh, Goodwill a couple days ago. Got it cleaned up nicely, so, whole 88 cents. Got two of them like this, so, uh, got a nice wide mouth and, uh, thin base to see some light through it. Uh, thanks to my BB Barfly, the, uh, the cap came off greatly, so I can add that to my collection. So let me get this uh, Yeti in the glass. I've heard a lot of things about this, never had it. A lot of great things about it, seen a lot of, uh, well, that is glugging out of there. I don't think this is quite a 12 ounce glass. Maybe with that head, I still got a little bit in the, little bit in the bottle. That it looks like a stout should look that is dark even on the narrow narrow portion of the the bottom here I don't see a bit of light coming through got a finger of a really nice um, chocolate brown head really foamy looking really great looking stout so let me get a nose on it oh wow yeah I got um, definitely got that dark chocolate in there right up front uh, a little bit of roasted coffee, some caramel. Uh, smells very, very sweet. Um, got that roasted dark coffee, um, almost, almost like burnt coffee beans. Um, little hint of the 9.5% uh, alcohol. Got some dark fruits, uh, raisins, um, black cherries, maybe. Um, really, really nice smelling uh, stout. So, uh, got all the characteristics of a good stout. So let me get a taste. Yeah, now there's some heavy-duty chocolate there, um, followed by those uh, toasted malts, um, almost almost burnt malts. Um, sweet, it's smooth, slightly astringent. Um, this one, uh, let's see, was bottled on December 14th, 2012, so... Uh, a little over three months old, but for a Russian Imperial Stout, that's nothing. Um, it's got kind of a lingering uh, dry finish uh, with the coffee. Um, the alcohol, definitely noticeable on the finish. It's not uh, really noticeable that much uh, throughout the uh, throughout the palate to right there on the finish. Um, little bit of a burn there uh, uh, look you know a little bit of heat but you you kind of feel it in that astringency too from the alcohol um, really really good tasting beer uh, there's some milk chocolate in here along with the dark chocolate um, dark fruit vanilla I know there are other versions of this uh, 
with different coffees and aged in different barrels and stuff, but boy, this is a darn good stout. Um, got that um, dark, bittersweet chocolate kind of hangs around on the tongue as an aftertaste. It's not a real clean finish. Um, and then you got that uh, alcohol warmth there at the back of the throat, so it's not a not a really cre uh, clean finish, but it's something that tastes darn good. You don't mind it sticking around a little bit. Um, this is a nice, heavy, uh, full-bodied beer, really creamy, uh, really coats the tongue. Leaving some nice, light lacing down the glass, maybe just a bit of some alcohol legs in there, but this is everything a, a Russian Imperial Stout should be. This has been out of the fridge for maybe half an hour. It's got some uh, got some warming up to do. Uh, so let me, uh, I'll get the rest of this in the glass. Sit and sip on this for a while, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and great. Okay, I'm back. It's been almost an hour, so I've just been sipping on this. Um, I notice as it's warmed up, it's almost room temperature now. Um, I think, uh, uh, depending on your room temperature, in my case, it's probably about 65 degrees. Um, you know, so I, you know, if, you, if your room's 80 degrees, I don't know. I can't tell you, but uh, anyway, I notice as it's warmed up, the, the flavors have shifted around a little bit. You're still getting that... Uh, that dark chocolate right on the front, um, toasted malts and everything come through in the in the middle of the palate, but it's the finish, especially when you swallow, that um, the things have really changed. Um, you got a lot of coffee on the finish. Um, again, it's not a clean finish. Um, if you're looking for a clean finish and a nice smooth palate. Uh, you're not going to get it with this one, but on the finish, when you when you swallow, you get uh, you get black coffee, which is the way I drink mine. Uh, uh, roasted, almost burnt coffee beans, um, even a little bit of uh, sweet espresso there on the on the finish, and those um, bittering hops that they used, whatever they were, uh, are really noticeable now that it, now that it's warmed up, right there on the finish. Um, they combine well with all those um, that variety of uh, coffee flavors. It's um, really a nice finish, but again, not not uh, clean. Um, your tongue, yeah, again, that that uh, slightly bittersweet uh, chocolate just kind of lingers on your tongue and the back of your throat's the coffee. A nice uh, nice finish. Um, it's definitely a sipper. This is a good sipper. Um, I'd put this right up there with uh, with old Rasputin, one of my favorite uh, Russian Imperial Stouts, that's for sure. Um, damn good uh, Russian Imperial Stout. Um, if you want a big uh, roasty roasty stout, this might be the one for you. So, I'm uh, thank you, Robert, um, my friend from California, uh, for sending this to me. Uh, I really appreciate this. Cheers to you, my friend. And cheers to everybody else. Um, I'm going to give the Yeti Imperial Stout. They just say Imperial Stout. It says untamed and imposing. Well, I'm, I'm not sure about untamed and imposing, but it's a damn good Imperial Stout. And it's going to get a 9.5 out of 10 for me. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Cheers to you, my friend Robert. Let's keep drinking good beers.